Bike gloves do work pretty good. <laughs> so, well, what's up, Omer? How's it going, buddy? You know, just got yourself a little catchable. Yeah. Hey, Carter. Sir. Let's let's go see what we can do with this. Yeah, we got kind of laid out. She moved the board off so you can see where it's at. That was a couple weeks ago. She's still still in there, and she crawls around inside, all around back. Yeah. So. All right. Well, this, can we go around the back? Well, yeah, well, back it, gate? It, you can't get up to the deck that way. Oh, okay. So you gotta go through the house? Yeah, go through the house. Okay. Um, right. If I catch this raccoon, <clears throat> we'll put this over the fence. I don't want to drag that raccoon because they'll be peeing, pooping. I don't want to go through the house with it. Okay. That'll be fun. <clears throat> That'll be fun. No. <laughs> we have we have cats for 25 years, so they're yeah. kind of used to that. All right, let's go see what we can, can do. I film her too? Right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> See what we got going on. Looks cozy. Yeah, I'll tell you what, Omer, let me have the bike gloves. I think I can do this with the bike gloves. Uh, gonna be trying out the Reptazoo bike gloves. Reptazoo bike gloves. Is trap and release in the house. Or how does it normally work? So uh, we are not going to trap and release. This is gonna be, Michael's gonna grab it by hand and hope he doesn't get bit too much okay. with these new bike gloves. So this is just a transportation device today, not a trap. Yeah, this device. is just transportation. Okay. Um, all right, Omer, let's see, how much room do you have here? You need to have this like this, okay? Because you, if that raccoon comes shooting out here, you need to grab the, you need to put this over the raccoon. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? So you want to be like right there so that you can swoop that raccoon down. Yeah. All right? Don't let us down. I won't. No pressure. <laughs> Well, worst case scenario is the raccoon gets around us and we can't, we can't catch it. But best case scenario is, um, I get my hand on the raccoon. So there's a hole in the back? Let me just look to see what's going on back here. Just watch that hole, make sure it doesn't sneak out. Now I need your reflexes on, on point on there. You ready? On the ninja. Hit him with the adrenaline shot. <laughs> Bike gloves do work pretty good. <laughs> that was, uh, you like that? <laughs> let's, let's see if we got any blood. Uh. A little bit. <laughs> Raccoon's okay. Maybe a little scarring, but you know, it's gotta be good. <laughs> That's what a mama raccoon sounds like, protecting its young. Let's just put him right here for now. That'll be all right. How was that for you? <laughs> huh? How was that for you? It's amazing how strong those animals I, are. That was like you wrestling Mike Tyson. <laughs> you know? It's uh, it's just crazy how strong they are. Okay, well the bite uh, proof gloves are uh, mostly bite proof with raccoons. <laughs> oh, if you, if you could only feel how many times she was biting me and they di it didn't penetrate, it was only it's only until it got right on the edge of that seam right there and her tooth went right through that seam and into my into my hand so they hold up really good for uh four-year-old alligators and pretty good with uh full-grown female raccoons i would say that this is really good being that i'm not bleeding everywhere hey carter do you have a can we get you a, get me a trash bag yeah all right just some any kind of trash bag Oh, 
How would you describe the smell of a raccoon? Uh, very urine-like, you know, and uh, musky. Musky, yeah. I would go with musky. Is four uh, babies normal? Or what is, yeah, yeah, that's the average. Okay, is four. And uh, daddy or mom? This is mother, right? So the uh, dad's out hunting, or so the fathers like to kill baby raccoons really yeah because if he can kill the baby raccoons she'll come into heat again and he'll get to have sex again wow and okay. so the so the fathers the mothers go through a lot of trouble to hide these young ones from the male raccoons because the male raccoons will kill the young just to make her cycle so there's no family when it comes to raccoons as far as traditional monogamy so how much of this debris was brought in by the raccoon? Um, so all of this leaf litter, but over the years there's been something else in here because some kind of rodent has been in here. Yeah, squirrel. squirrel. Yeah. But I'll tell you what, this raccoon has tore this up. I don't know if this hot tub will ever work again. So do raccoons carry a liability insurance of any sort? Do what? The raccoons carry liability insurance for damage to the property? I don't think they do. Right? No. <laughs> Unfortunately, this is not part of the house. It's not even covered under homeowners. So. Well, a squirrel definitely has uh, had its way with the wires in here because, like, all the wires, the, the, the rubbers and the plastics chewed off of all the wires. No, but so <clears throat> we're going to translocate this family. We're going to take it, put her in a a box with these young ones somewhere where where they can translocate nearby. Probably get back to here. Right? I don't think we've talked about that before. I mean, how, to, how how far away should you be translocating animals? So translocating is in our world is 22 miles away, but the reality of relocation relocation is out of here. And let them go out here that's what relocation is and then you board this up so they can't get back in it anywhere within about a mile square of here would be relocating you're just wanting to move them away from the house translocating is taking them somewhere else but is it true like if you bring a raccoon like 10 miles away it can just come right back to where it was <sighs> I, I would say if you took it less than seven. Less than seven? <clears throat> if you took it less than seven, it's going to be coming right back. Still so far. Yeah. Not for a raccoon. That's, they got nothing to do. They don't have any iPhones or video games to play. <laughs> so they'll, uh, they'll get it and go. All right. Well, that's a successful raccoon removal from the hot tub. And then... There is not. There, there's, there's no, there's not another raccoon in here. You could have saw a female from last year's young around here, but that's all that's in here now, because there's actually nowhere else that they can get to right here, except for this little hole up there where they could get around the void that's behind the wood that, and the tub right here. But it's a small hole. She could. There's, there's no hole in the back. Yeah. Um, it's, it's completely solid in the back. The wood goes all the way around. Yeah, there's nothing back here. Looks like we don't have any choice but to carry this through the house. So let's go ahead and that uh, triggers underneath the bottom there. You well, see Mary, if you could just out. jump up on the roof, meet us in the front, that'd be great, man. I mean, I do that all day. All right, thanks. Day. Appreciate <laughs> it. Well, I'll hand it down over the edge if you want me to do that. Michael, do you want to take another uh, garbage bag and put it underneath the bottom? Yeah, that's what I usually do, you know? But she's uh, she already pooped inside there. I don't think she's gonna poop again. Hey, watch that trigger in the bottom. Don't lose that trigger. You see it hanging out the bottom? <laughs> that thing cost me $1.49. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. Michael, thank you, sir. Appreciate you, man. <laughs> this is a nerve wracking uh, uh, little scenario here i'm like is my mom gonna get attacked by a raccoon she was afraid to go on the yeah, deck and you, you gotta be careful you gotta be careful i mean it was it was uh it was fun for me because it was such a controlled environment <laughs> hey hey we're here with uh carter he's a cardinal cowboy you may have seen him on tv around st louis area 
But anyway, we did some projects with him and he's been great. And uh, his mom had a raccoon underneath the Whirlpool jacuzzi and uh, you knew exactly who to call. Yeah, I said, mom, we got this taken care of. They'll be out. And it, it was interesting because I think she actually called another person before I got to talk to her about it. And, and without naming it, it was, they said, we'll bring the trap and whatever. And I said, I think I have some, and you got them like right on the spot. Michael came out here and grabbed them on the spot. Didn't put a trap, have to come back. Every day my mom has to live with these raccoons running around in the back. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's intimidating. And you can't well, use well, not only intimidating, it's dangerous. Yeah. They, they carry rabies. They're known to carry rabies, distemper. But what's most dangerous, to, especially to your mom, is raccoon roundworms. That parasite is nasty on people. I mean, nasty. Don't Google search <laughs> raccoon roundworms because you will not sleep tonight. Yeah. It's, it's really nasty. Well, and I just was like, I know exactly who to talk to. And you came up right away and got it appreciate done. It. And just thank you very much. Yeah, I appreciate you. All right. Yep, that show should air in the next couple of weeks. So on the your little your little castle, yourlittlecastle.com. Cool. Thank you, Michael. I'm gonna go take a shower. Yeah. <laughs> Giddy up. <laughs>